Yay! Wow. Junkie Joe should be working now. Okay. <clears throat> Hi everyone, Linda Israel here. Let me get on the face zoom so you can see my face. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad to have you here. I have started the raffle for 200 junk bucks. So type exclamation point raffle. If it's your first time here, welcome. So glad to have you. If you have a question, put it in all caps. I'll try my best to read it. If I don't see it, please accept my apology and ask again. I have a helper or two in the chat. Robin will be taking notes. If it's something that is in regards to an order from your shop, please use the contact me form on my webpage so that I can kind of have a record of it because I get an email and then I have your email address and we can talk it out. But if you have general crafting questions or about what I'm doing today, please feel free to ask. I'll do my best to answer those. Let's keep the chat upbeat and friendly and helpful. We don't put up with snarkiness or drama. I do not do drama. I, you're, you'll be booted. Poof. We'll be done. <laughs> oh, yay, Marianne. I'm glad you got your stamps today. You do earn junk bucks, and junk bucks are a virtual currency that you can exchange to get a coupon code to my shop to check your bucks type exclamation point bucks and then if you have 2000 you can type exclamation point award and that will earn you a ten dollar off coupon to my shop i am making three journals today i have made two mini journals let me grab those <clears throat> So I've got two little mini journals that I've made, and I'll show those here in just a moment. And then I'm going to have three of the larger journals that are the five and a half by eight and a half in size journal inserts. I didn't get a chance to make a cover like I did for some of my other kits. Sorry, guys. I've been busy. <laughs> Um, so I am asking for donations of $100. So if you will please make a donation of any dollar amount to be entered to at the end get one of these journals that I'm raffling off. Also know that if you haven't already set an account up at my website, please do so. Then message me that you made a donation and what your YouTube name is and then I will get you added to the YouTube donator group. So thank you so much. Thank you so much Mary for your donation. Thank you Kim for your donation as well. Um, let's see. Next Monday, next Monday, a week from today, I will be using the um, Autumn Breeze kit. It's a digital download from Norella of Calico Collage. It's got lots of autumn themed items to it. It's a smaller kit, but you get lots of goodies. These are some of the Fussy Cat items. Aw, thank you so much, Carrie Ann. Thank you so much for your donation. Oh, Robin, thank you for your donation. You know you don't have to do that. <laughs> you work for me, Robin. <laughs> you do all kinds of work for me. This is one of the pages, and this is another of the pages. So I, thought I would just flip through that really fast to kind of give you a preview of what I'll be working on on Monday. This will be the cover. And then I have made some new stencils. So I've got these uh, maple leaf stencils. That was a request during one of my lives last week, I believe it was. So I have got those made and they're now listed in my shop. And then I've made another stencil. Let me put this up here so I can work on that later. I also made a dress form stencil. Hey Sherry, welcome, welcome. So this is what it looks like when you spray through the stencil. So that's, that's probably backwards. Um, when you spray through the stencil, you get that design. And then when you mop up, on the stencil that's the design you get so I thought I would share those as well and let's see here I picked up and this is not something I'm selling I just wanted to share it with y'all I picked up these little brushes um, there is a company that makes them 
they're like $40 for the set that they designed for the crafting community. It's supposed to be a little bit more ergonomic. And I wasn't really sure if I wanted to spend the money on brushes like that, $40 worth, especially when, in my opinion, when you can find a product in another category for a lot less money that works pretty much the same way. It seems kind of silly to spend $40 on a product when I got a whole set of 10 different brushes for $10. So basically a dollar a piece on Amazon. And I do have a link for that. And I thought I would show you what I thought was kind of fun about it. I'll share the link. Let me get that. <clears throat> so here is my Amazon affiliate link. And here's what I'm going to do. I've got, let me move the little We'll look at these journals here in just a moment. So I've got a couple of pages that I made, okay? And I thought it might be fun. I think I'm going to do it this way. I was going to do it differently, but I changed my mind. I'm going to lay this on top of the page, but I want these areas here to be a different color. So I've got some Distress Ink and Dusty Call Cord, and my screen is not right. There we go. You got some that Dollarama Barb? Yeah, I mean, I, I get it. You know, if it's a product that's um, proprietary to one industry, you may have to pay a little bit more for it. But when you can find it in the other industries for a lot less, it seems kind of silly to spend that kind of money on it. And here's what I did. I just inked it up just a little bit. And then I'm going to go on here. And it's so soft with these little brushes that I thought it would be really cool to see how this looks if I just stencil in that inner area. I'm not being really heavy handed. I just want a little bit of color, but isn't that cool how that comes up? I like the softness of it. It's kind of fun to be able to use these with my stencils to add a little color in a different way. Because with the Tattered Angels, you know, you're spraying it and it's kind of difficult to get in a particular place. But by using this brush, what do you think? Just kind of add a little bit different color on there. Kind of fun, huh? So I'm going to do a couple more of these. So what have you all been working on? What have you all been playing around with? Yeah, you like them, Sherry? Thank you. I'm so glad that you like that. Yay. Yeah, you paid the $40. You like yours? Got them in the makeup department. Yeah, I mean, I get it. You know, people want to make money, but I would rather spend my money on a product that I can't get in another department, so to speak. You know, if it's unique, like the rubber stamps. I'll spend the money on a rubber stamp that I know I can't get anywhere but from a particular vendor. But if I can get, you know, a brush from any vendor, they're all pretty much, in my opinion, pretty close to the same, then I'll save my money and spend it on products that I know I can't get just anywhere. That's part of the reason why, you know, some people were asking me to offer some other products in my shop. And I'm like, but you can get that at, you know, Hobby Lobby, Michael's, Amazon, wherever. Um, I get it that you want to save maybe on shipping, but there's other ways you can do that. You made a four layered flower with glitter in the middle. Oh my glitter. You're fussy, fussy cutting mushrooms like nuts. Oh my goodness. What are you going to do with all those mushrooms, Angelica? Baby journals and an altar book. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> now you know what to do with yours, Barb. <laughs> They're, it's really simple to use these little brushes. Um, and like I said, you don't have to get the most expensive kind out there. Um, and I'm just hardly even putting forth any effort to put down some color. If I was a little bit uh, slower, if I spent a little bit more time on it, I could have a little bit more even distribution of ink. But I just thought it would be kind of fun that when you look at this page, you got the green on the outside and then I put the purple in there. Kind of cool, huh? Okay, so someone asked me about uh, Angel Policy. I did reply to one person through my website. 
Um, so here's what I'll tell you. On my stencils, you can use the stencil design to make anything you want to sell. If you want to sell, you know, journals, if you want to make greeting cards, if you want to use the stencil, make a design like this page, scan that in and sell it, you can do that. What you can't do is use my designs to create a new stencil and sell a stencil because that's in direct competition with me. Send them my way if they need a stencil. As far as the rubber stamps are concerned, Concerned. The angel policy on the rubber stamps is that you can use these to make items for sale. You can stamp it out onto paper. You can scan it into your computer and sell the digital file or the physical item. What you cannot do is use these images to make new rubber stamps. And then Calico Collages angel policy, you are allowed to sell products up to a certain a number I think it's a hundred you have to buy a license from her if you want to be able to sell more than a hundred of a particular design you are not allowed to print the images and then just sell the printed images you have to make it into a thing and then you can sell it and you are not allowed to use her images to create a digital download for sale does that make sense so I thought I would show you that you're very welcome <clears throat> yeah, the brushes look like a great, a great blending tool. They are, I think, pretty, pretty cool how they work. Now, I don't have anything on the back side of this page. So, I think what I'm going to do is get my spray box out. And we're going to spritz the backs of these because I forgot to do them earlier. And I just wanted to get that done really quick. And I was a little distracted trying to get all my internet stuff working. <laughs> You're welcome, you're welcome. So I hope that helps y'all. Enter the raffle. Um, we are looking for $100. I don't remember if I said that or not for the raffle today because I do have five journals that I'll give away. The two minis and then three of the larger journals. And I've done a lot of prep work before the beginning of this. So hopefully uh, we'll be able to zip through this pretty fast. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm putting some paper into my spray box and let me set this over here and I've got the dress form stencil so I'm going to lay that into my box there. The last stencil that I showed you, this one here, that's part of the Sue Arts, So Artsy, I don't know why I said Sue, we're not going to sue you, the So Artsy uh, subscription box. And those will be shipped out on August the 15th. I'm going to grab a couple of colors here. Let's see, I've got from the So Artsy add-on kit, I've got So Rockin' and Artsy Cherry. I got my Tattered Angels order. It arrived, so I'm really happy that it is here. So I've already sorted the Tattered Angels and got that already. I'm waiting on my print job, which is the printed portion of the journal, and then I'll be able to ship everything out. All right, so I'm just going to go in here, and if you're uh, if you're buffering, try getting out and coming back. Sometimes it's just not synced up wherever you're located. If you're on Wi-Fi on a mobile device, it may be a little bit uh, slow. So just let you know that sometimes it's easier if you can get on a a, a, a computer or maybe even like an iPad or something. All right, so I'm going to do. I think I want more of this teal. And then I'm going to mop this up. I was talking and so I didn't pay attention to how I was putting it together. <laughs> okay, Sally. Thanks for coming in. Everybody's buffering. Well, I'm not having any issues here. It looks like all of my um, numbers are good. It's probably YouTube. So I just sprayed the back side. So this is what it looks like when you mop it up. Isn't that kind of cool? And that's a new stencil that I have in my shop right now. Uh, Robin just shared the um, link. The buffering for a few people apparently all right so I'm just spraying the back side too I'm gonna do this a couple more times let's see I've got these two so I just need to do it one more time and then 
gonna start decorating pages. Thank you, Jen, for your donation. Thank you, thank you. And I'll show you the two mini journals that I've already worked on. I didn't do a lot to the mini journals. I just wanted to uh, get something put together. Let's put this teal in here. Thank you so much, Lisa, for your donation. You are very welcome. Thank you, Jen B, for your donation. Thank you, thank you. Grab this one. Oh, good. You hit refresh, got a commercial, and then it cleared up. Yay! Spray the back side. I don't think I sprayed all of these. Nope, I haven't sprayed those. Okay. All right. Put this over here. Spray the back. <laughs> Yours cleared up too. Yay, I'm glad. It's no fun. It's buffering. No buffering. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you so much for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll have to show you. Um, I was playing around with my stencils. Thank you so much for your donation, Deborah. Um, I did the dress form stencil first. And I know y'all can't see that in that lighting. But, and then I did the So Artsy stencil on top. So you kind of get that white background isn't so white. And then this one, when I mopped up, I went ahead and mopped up that other stencil on the back side. So it gets a kind of an interesting texture on there. All right, I'm gonna set this aside. All right, these pages are a little damp, so I'm gonna go ahead and dry them a little bit because you don't wanna work with the wet uh, paper because they it tends to tear. I didn't know my cell phone was in here. When I can't find my cell phone later, somebody tell me that it's over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like we already had our first boss fight. We took down Junkie Boss. Oh, FFA is open. I'll, I'll go ahead and join y'all. Oh, if I can get my cursor in there. That way y'all can win some of my junk bucks. We already got our first raffle started, so if you haven't already joined the raffle, you can do so. Okay. And then I got these pages. All right, well, let's start, let's start doing some stuff here. So I've got the little mini journals, and what I did was is I chose the one cover for each journal and two pages of the printed pages that are the minis, and then I added some mop-up papers that I cut down to fit, and I didn't stamp on them or anything, so we could do that really fast. And then I did one of my mixed media papers that I made last Thursday, which is a book page, and I just put paint on both sides. So let's, uh, let's decorate this a little bit more with some rubber stamps. But that's what these look like. I think that's upside down. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! I'm glad the storm is over. Somebody said there was supposed to be some storms today in some areas. It's hot here. Over 100 degrees. I went outside for just a moment this morning to water some of my potted plants because they were looking a little wilted. <laughs> and I was like, oh, it's so hot. <laughs> All right, I think what I'm gonna do is I've got a couple of blocks here and I'm gonna load up some stamps. So I've got the DeLong and let's see. Let's do the little thimble stamp. That'd be kind of cute. 
And then let's do the spool of thread. So basically all I'm gonna do is stamp these in black ink in a couple of spots inside this journal. So we'll put one right here. And let's put one of these over here. Just kind of adding a little design. Got the thimble. The thimble down here. Let's see that we have anything else that hmm. this is like a little label. Let's see if I can put it on this one. Like a dressmaker's label. Just kind of put that at the bottom down there. Just as a design. Hot and humid. Hey, Sam, thank you so much for your donation. I don't recognize your name, so definitely make sure you visit my website and you create a user account there so I can get you added to my YouTube donator group where you get free digital downloads and you get a discount on products in my shop. So thank you so much for your donation. I'll put that little pool of thread down there. I like the little zigzag stitches. Let's do so, a couple of those as well. Just kind of adds a little texture. Just kind of adding a little bit around there. Especially since Norella used the zigzag and a couple and just regular stitches here and there. Is that the famous Sam Spade? <laughs> All righty. Um, let's see. What else has been going on? Y'all been, uh, yeah, is there any new people here today? I think Sam's new because I don't recognize that name on my live stream anyway. So welcome. I really appreciate y'all coming and watching and for your donations. It helps me out tremendously, y'all being here and participating. Long over here. Oh, well, thank you, Sam. I'm so glad that you're here live. I appreciate you watching. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. That's funny. I've had a lot of new people the past couple of weeks, so I'm glad you're able to stop by. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. So I'm just basically using the same few stamps a few times throughout this journal to kind of give a little decoration, if you will. Well, I think we got one more page here. Let's do something on this side. And then we'll do the other mini. Okay, so I just kind of quickly added a few more stamps to that one. So this will be in the raffle at the end. I'm about to have a craft avalanche. I didn't pull the drawstring up on my brushes. They were about to all fall onto me. <laughs> okay, what else? Um, Just trying to, you know, get stuff done. It's been so hot. Have y'all been staying inside with all this heat? Because it about kills me. It's so hot. I'm going to use a different stamp. This is the other zigzag. This is part of the shabby stitches. There's four different patterns that you can use. How to claim. Oh, to get your $10 off coupon, you need to type exclamation point award and then you can get your ten dollar off coupon yeah robin just showed it too and robin will record whoever uh, gets that so that i can um, send you your coupon oh i see 
well, I'm hoping you recover quickly from your surgery. I hope, I hope, I hope. And thank you for being here. This is so fun. Just adding the stamped images. Let's go down the side. So it looks like we kind of planned it, you know. All right. Congratulations, Julie, on earning your coupon code. Whoop, whoop. Thank you so much. That means that Julie's been watching and playing the in chat games or has won or donated. And so that's how she's accumulated all of those junk bucks. So congratulations. Yeah, Robin is Miss Secretary for sure. She takes good care of me. Reminds me of things. We're working on a few things behind the scenes so that y'all can not have to worry about stuff, if you will. Okay. Just about got this one stamped up. So you don't have to be precise, in, in my opinion, anyway. I think it's just as fun to go in here and just add some texture with rubber stamps. She doesn't pester me. She helps me. <laughs> She even saw that my live stream, when I scheduled it today, it was trying to say I wasn't going to go live until 8 something tonight. I'm like, seriously, YouTube, what is your deal? So apparently it had changed the time zone that I was on. Even though I use the same computer every week, it changed the time zone. All right, so there's what we did. We just added some stamping to those pages. So see how you can dress up even mop up or painted papers just by adding a little bit of rubber stamps on there. And Robin just shared, or, or Angelica did, the uh, sewing themed uh, rubber stamps and other items that I have in my shop. All right, so those are the two mini. So let's look at what we want to do with these pages. I've got all the little fussy cut items. I've got some pieces for belly buttons. Thank you so much, Barb. Thank you, thank you. Let me find the other one. Oh, here's another one. So I've got these little pieces that I thought would be kind of fun to use as belly bands. And I find that if I don't go ahead and find a place for them, especially when they're the long ones, that I forget to use them. So I'm going to try to use it on the page before we put it into the journal. So let me grab these. Kind of move some stuff out of the way. Okay. So this belly band is actually an up and down one. This is long enough that it can go all the way across as well as this one. And I've got three pages here. So what I'm going to do is we've already stamped stuff on this side just a little bit. Let's kind of look at these pages. All right, so I'm going to pick one page, flip it over, and in this case, I've got this pink piece of paper. It's cardstock. I'm going to line it up, and I'm going to cut off the excess that's on the side over here. Nudge, nudge, poke, poke. Okay, it's time for me to do the raffle of the junk bucks. So please enter the raffle. I'll give you just a moment. I'm going to go ahead and trim this and I'll get it attached. We're missing Chrissy. I hope she's okay. Oh, congrats, Barb, on your coupon. Yay! I'll get those sent out to you when I get off the stream here. All right, I'm just going to add some distress ink to this scrap. It was a scrap of cardstock that I had on my desk, and I thought, why not use it? That's what junk journals are all about. 
I'll leave things on my desk and I'll try to find a way to use it. <laughs> oh, is Christy there? Good. I'm glad. I was wondering. Hello, Christy Clover. Hello, Mary and Lisa and Barb and Gabby. Hello. If I didn't say hi to you, I'm sorry. I get busy and then I don't always look up and see what everybody is doing. All right. It's a little bit plain across the top and the bottom here. We're going to have this in the middle. So let's grab a couple of other stamps. Um, I've got this tape measure stamp. I think that would be good to use. And I'm going to put back some of these other stamps. Oh, yeah, and I've got the scissors and the pattern. I like those. I may keep the spool of thread out, so I'm going to leave it up there. Just change this out. So I think this would look good over here on this side. I've got this scissors rubber stamp. Maybe we can put it up there. And let's see what else we've got. And then I've got some saying stamps. So we'll kind of work all around here. Squirrel! Okay, y'all ready for the raffle? Got this all. Thank you, Janice. All right. Hey, Norella! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. Let's see here. Let's go to giveaway. Oh, yeah, let me get the next prize. Mm. All right. So, the giveaway that is right now is for 200 junk bucks, and our winner is, are you ready? Manda Dawn. Congratulations, you won 200 junk bucks. I will award those when I get off the stream here, and hopefully that gets you closer to 2,000 junk bucks. All right, so our next giveaway is going to be for a set of my uh, chipboard pieces that are dress forms, and I've got five of them in a package, so that is the next raffle. So join the free raffle right now by typing exclamation point raffle, and then I'm going to set this over here. Okay, I need something to drink. Talk, talk, talk. It's cold there, Julie? Well, here we're, of course, you're in Australia, so I don't remember what the conversion is, but it's 100 degrees Fahrenheit here in Oklahoma right now. I'm loving them too, Norella. They're so much fun to use. All right, now I've got journal cards that we might put with those, so I'm kind of trying to keep I track of what I'm doing. And I think, let's use this guy here. And maybe we'll put, yeah, let's do that. Even though we're going to put journal cards in this, I just think it would be kind of neat if it's got a little bit of decoration on it. So I've kind of laid out where I want my stamp. So one's going to go there. One's going to go down here. Hey, Rita, welcome, welcome. I sent you an email a long time ago. I hope you got it, Rita. And if not, you can message me on Facebook. Hey, Erin and Gabby and Jen. Oh, we're doing a boss fight. Am I too late? And we're doing a FFA. All right. 112 in Mississippi. Holy cow, that's, cow, that's hot. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Oh, I didn't mean to do a in a garden of dreams. Oh, well. Maybe we'll put a flower on there. And then that'll kind of indicate uh, a garden, right? I've got some fussy cut items. Let's see if I can find some flowers. I've got... I see two. I want three. So let me see if I can find one more flower that I like. I am rubber stamp out my images that I want to fussy cut. And then I color them with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. And then, because Beeline Designs allows me to, 
I will scan these into my computer and then I can print them over and over and I don't have to spend the time coloring them in again and again and again unless I want to change them. You hey, I I love summer until it gets to the hundred degrees. I'd rather it stay around seventy nine to eighty degrees. Hey, Christy, thank you so much for your donation. Thank you, thank you. All right, so now I've got all of the images stamped on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and glue down the belly band. And that'll go across this way. And then because I did in a garden of dreams, I'm just gonna add this little flower here. So it doesn't look like, well, she's talking about a garden, but there's nothing here to indicate it. Well, here we go. I added a flower there. See how that put together? All right, let's do the same thing here. We got the same kind of a across the page belly band. That's part of the calico collage kit. And then I've got this one that'll go on this other page and I'm going to put flowers on that. Okay. Might as well use the same technique that we had. So I'm going to put the tape measure down here. I've got the in a garden. Might as well. We're going to be consistent through all these journals. <laughs> and I'll put one down here and then I've got the scissors. Okay, well, Rita, I can give you a new coupon code if you got it. Message me again, and I'll give you a new coupon code. They just expire because that's the way the shop makes me do it, if that makes any sense. Um, and then I I'm, I'm also don't want people trying to use the same coupon code every week. <laughs> so they expire. So when you earn one, you get to use it. So Rita, message me again uh, through the email address that works for you, and I'll send you a new code, okay? I can fix it up for you. Alright, so let's glue this down. So who likes working with calico collage digital images or the physical items? Are you liking that? Uh, the availability? Are there any of Norella's kits? that you would just love to see as a printed option in my shop. I think I have just sold out of the beekeepers kit. I only put 20 in my shop, I think. Um, I think I'll order reorder those. I still have the hummingbird kit, what is Flittering Gems is the name of it. I still have a few of those left in my shop. Um, when I get close to running out of those, I will order some more but if there's another kit that you would like to see in my shop let me know if it's one that Norella says that the, the request is high enough we'll put like 20 in my shop how many get I, you know I don't know for sure because it varies per person so you get junk bucks for being here you get junk bucks for playing the in chat games they cost you 10 junk bucks but you could win who knows and then if you make a donation you also get junk bucks if you'll type exclamation point bucks and then you'll know how much you have and then a little bit later in the chat you could do it again and so you can kind of see um, how it makes a difference my my computer guy set up the um, uh, way we do the junk bucks, so I'm not real sure how it works. <laughs> I just know it does. You're gonna order the the next thing, the autumn kit. I like the autumn kit. It's gonna be really pretty. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, I'll be using that kit Monday. I'll be doing the autumn kit, autumn breeze on Monday. I showed it at the beginning of the stream. Okay, I think I want this here. So I'm kind of changing this up a little bit because I'm not going to have a belly band over there. I still think I want to put the scissors up there. So this one's a little bit different. And I'm going to go ahead and use the garden one there. And because the tape measure won't really fit there, I'm going to use the thimble 
on this side and I'm going to use the tape measure on the other side. You're very welcome, Sam. Yes, yeah, YouTube's being a butt today, Norella. Someone else said it was freezing on them, so they refreshed. I put that in upside down, but that's okay. All right, we're going to glue it down here and here. Okay. I like when I'm making a large journal, or in this case, oh, I did that wrong. Dang it. Okay, got to wipe off the excess glue on the sides. Okay. Um, making duplicate pages because it goes so much faster. Now, if that's not your goal to be quick, um, take your time. Make one at a time. Make them the design that you want. That's how you get variety throughout your journal. All right. So I think what I'm going to do now is fold these up. And I know I'm going to add more embellishments on there, but I think I'm going to wait until the journal is put together to kind of see how the pages fall together and where I may want to add something. Okay. Oh, I know it. I, sometimes it's a pain. I don't understand why YouTube has their has their glitches. Yeah, the internet's all messed up because of the heat. <laughs> all right, so now I've got these three pages, okay? And I've got these pages, and I'm trying to decide... I think we'll go ahead and stamp a little something on the back sides of these. Maybe. No, I'm just going to fold them. I had to think about it because sometimes I prefer stamping on a flat paper. But when I'm doing the live streams, because I'm going to be using all the little ephemera pieces, I want to be able to kind of mix it up a little bit because you really don't know what you're going to pull out of the package per se. All right, so we got those three pages and I got three more here. I think, I think I ended up making um, where each journal is going to have 10 sheets of paper or 40 pages. Anytime that you're making a journal, when you fold a piece of paper in half, that becomes, this one sheet of paper is four pages. One, two, three, and four. If you didn't know that, I just shared it with you, so now you know. What was it? What was the question? I made a mistake of putting the journal together first. Well, you know, you can you can still dec put it, decorate it afterwards. You know? Okay, Polly donated $5, I guess. Okay. Yes! Yes, Norella, that's a new stencil that I just made. I shared it at the beginning here. I'll show you the whole... That's the stencil. And then this was the mop-up page. So when I laid it... I think it goes this way. And picked it up that put that on top of it and then this side is spraying through the stencil y'all had requested it and i kind of played around i was trying to figure out how i could use that dress form so i made it different sizes and kind of you know played around with placement just a little bit i don't know i'm not perfect at it but i think i'm doing pretty good <laughs> oh. Thank you so much. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out all the pages that I've made and or printed. We'll discuss them a little bit. And then we're going to put the journals together, okay? That way we can start divvying up the decorations. Thank you so much, Norella. Thank you so much. You know, I was, I was kind of playing around with it. I'm like, how can I do this? How can I do this? Oh, let me try this. No, that doesn't work. And then I just kind of kept tweaking it just a little bit. And I finally got it. And so then I said, Henry, I need this cut, please. <laughs> so he cut it yesterday. Yeah, I made it 
yesterday morning, and he cut it for me yesterday. Yeah, I like the oak leaves, too. I think they're going to be perfect. You want the bee journal, Julie? I'll have to order some more of the print. Hello, e Elizabeth. Welcome. I hope that's okay if I said that. <laughs> All right, so here are some of the mop-up pages. I haven't made it a product in my shop yet, but this is the digital download from Thursday's Mixed Media. I've got them, I got the files created, I just haven't made the product yet. But this is one of the pages, there were four, that I scanned in. Norella, can we use that in our next kit? I mean, I know I'm going to offer these as a digital download, but maybe we can um, use a portion of that in our next kit. So that's one, and then, or two pages, and then this is three and four, per se. And this is just printed on um, photocopy paper. Oh, thank you so much, Lisa. You're so sweet. I just saw that apparently I had a, a piece of paper stick to it, so it lifted it. But that's the character of it. You get all the flaws and everything. So I've got three of those designs. And then I've got the covers that you could get in the add-on kit. And then this is the cover that comes in the subscription box. So I've got all those three covers. Then I've got these pages that are part of the subscription box. I'm just kind of laying them all out. I made some collage pieces. I've made this design before, okay, just kind of making a, using the painted papers on top of a Bible page. So this is a page out of a family Bible. There were pages that had been ripped out of it, that had been scribbled on, and so I've just been taking it apart and using the pages. So there's a page, and I think, I think I'm going to want this to be the dead center. I think we can add some embellishments to make that kind of fun. So I'm going to put that kind of over at the side here. I've got these three pages. So I'm going to see how I want to do this. Covers, let's put the covers right there. So we've got one there. I don't know if y'all like to see my thought process of how I put things together, but I just thought I would share. Like, I think I want that to be the front inside. I like that one for the front inside cover. Let's see what else I've got here. That one's kind of pretty. What do we got here? These are some of the planner pages. I didn't have the printed planner that you're, you would get if you ordered the printed copy, so I just printed them on my jet inkjet printer, but I think they match really well. They go together. It's hard for y'all to see probably on camera that this is the shiny paper, and this was done with an inkjet. Thank you so much, Julie. They're gorgeous pages. I love how they've come together. All right, so I think we've got those three there. And let's put let's put the dress form next. So we've got that, that, that. I like this page that's kind of colorful. We'll put that there. And let's put Let's put planner pages. So I'm making piles of three because I am making three journals. So I'm going to put planner pages there. And let's see what we've got left. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Let's put some there and there. All right. So I'll, you can't see all the pages, but I've got them all laid out here. So I'm just going to grab a cover. And then I'm going to grab a page from each pile. Okay, wants to know what do you do when the center pages stick out further than the outside pages in the signature? You know, I am, um, thank you so much for asking. Um, I don't worry about it. But here's what I will tell you. If you do make your pages just slightly smaller than your cover, that will help. But I have also found that when you're binding it, the problem is when you nest those pages together, if you don't have them tight together, your inside pages will stick out further 
than your cover. So the key is to really make sure I crease my pages. I don't crease them hard, but I want to crease them so they're smooth and they're flat so that when you stack them all together and you go to bind them, they nest together and that will keep your inside pages from sticking out so far. So mine stick out a little bit, but not too bad, I think, in my opinion. All right. Did that answer your question? Oh, Christy, congratulations. You got your uh, coupon code. Thank you, Diane, for your donation. All right, and this is going to be my center page. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my some of my binding tools and get them out. Because that way, if I've got them bound together, things will go better, I think. So I'm just going to go ahead and paper clip this if I can find my other paper clip. I just saw it. There it is. And I'm just going to set this aside for now and we'll work on that in a moment. Now I'm just going to do the next one. All right. Yes, I have a digital download, Sherry, but I haven't put it in the shop yet. I just got the download, um, made into a digital if you will and now i've got to make the product in my website so i'll probably work on that tomorrow i got I was working on the stencils i wanted to make sure i got those up there and the digital download stuff takes me just a little bit longer because i have to create files i got to upload files so that's why i haven't done it yet but i got the files made i just got to get it all packaged and ready to go Yeah, some people trim them. You can do that. Yeah, they are handy, aren't they, Elizabeth? <laughs> you can trim them when um, the journals are printed by my print guy. He will bind them, and then once they're bound, he cuts them off straight so they are even. Um, but I just don't worry about it. They may stick out. Some pages may be bigger. It's part of the handmade look of it, in my opinion. So I don't really worry about it too much. I do try to make sure that my pages are even from top to bottom. This time I know all my pages are the same side, so it works. Oh, you're welcome, Christy. Thank you so much for being here and for watching and your support. I greatly appreciate it. Hey, Norella, you can get a couple of coupons from my shop. Is there anything you want? Let me know. <laughs> all right, we're doing the last one. And then we'll decorate by adding all of the fussy cut elements that are part of the subscription box. And then also the add-on kits that I'm using today. Hey, Turquoise Dreaming. It looks like we only need $60. We're trying to get to $100. And I'll be raffling off five journals at the end of our show today. You also get digital downloads from my shop. And you get a discount on products. Yeah, I leave, just leave them sticking out. It's okay. It's okay. But if it bothers you and you haven't decorated the edges... Then, yeah, you can cut it down, and I need to clean out my bag, it seems. Ah, there's a paper clip. There's a paper clip. And here's a needle. And apparently, my needle fetter cover came off, so let's close that back up. I keep all my little tools that I need for book binding in this little pouch. It just makes it so much easier to... Um, find things like I have extra needles here and I've got the big four inch needles in fact I sell these larger needles in my shop so if you're looking for a bookbinders needle I do sell these they're five dollars for a set of two in my shop thank you so much Christy you like those pages it's just kind of fun and I love that I can do this really fun stuff with the images that Norella put together. That's what makes me so happy is to be able to um, 
put some of me into the journal. That's hopefully what I'm teaching y'all, that you can buy the digital downloads, you can buy the physical kits, you can put it together and add your spin easily, you know, by changing it up a little bit. Use what you have. Cut up those magazines and junk mail. Use the other digital downloads or printed kits or rubber stamps and mix it all up and have fun with it. I love seeing when y'all take one of my kits and then you add what you find you know like julie's in australia so she finds different things than we do here stateside so hers comes out so unique and then you've got other people that do the um mixed media uh, techniques that i show and even though they're using the same stencil it always looks so different i'm like wait that's my stencil. Wow, that's cool. I love it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry she was so late. I hope you're doing well, though. I'm sorry she was late. I hate... This is a pet peeve of mine. I try not to be late. If I have an appointment with you, then I won't be late. Now, if we're just getting together with the whole big old group for dinner and I'm a couple minutes you know, late, I'm okay with that. But if I have an appointment, you know, we're trying to do something like uh, getting my nails done, my hair done, a massage, you know, getting my oil changed in my vehicle and you set a time for me to be there, then I will be there on time. I don't get this um, when you set an appointment that you don't show up. Why? What? What is so important in life? <laughs> really? That you can't keep your appointment. All right. She knows because you because you hate it. See, and that's just wrong. Why? If she's a nurse, then she should want to help whoever she's caring for to have as little stress as possible. By her being late, that stresses you. It will cause your heart rate to go up. If you're ill, it'll cause you to come a little bit more sick at that moment because of that so if that's what you're supposed to do you should show up on time <laughs> oh we got a boss fight might as well enter y'all don't want to know how many junk bucks i have <laughs> okay y'all can guess that's what we should do y'all think about how many junk bucks that i have i'll give a prize whoever is the closest and i'm not going to tell I know some of you know how close, but let's see who's the closest. I'll give a little prize. How many junk bucks do you think I have? <laughs> yeah, if you're having issues, go all the way out and come back in. I'm with you, Christy. Don't be late. You know, being late could cause a world of hurt for someone else. And that's just really inconsiderate. To not show up on time for an appointment. All right. Oh man, I wasn't paying attention and I did not have. Oh, that happens. Have it all tied up straight. So I get to redo this. I caught it on the corner. I usually try to pay 850000 <laughs> I got Now I have to look to see how many I have. Let's see here. Where is it? Um, is it? Oh, yeah. It's currency. Well, some of y'all are pretty close. If you combine, because it gives me two different user IDs, some of you are really close. <laughs> and I've used some of them as um, uh, trying to figure out how to test things. <laughs> you might be right, Robin, or not. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Alright, I've already got holes in it. So now what I need to do is thread my needle and make sure that I don't um, catch it. 
You have to donate some to you, Barb. Do you need enough? <laughs> oh, dear. All right. And just about one more minute. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much, Sam. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I'll give you a couple minutes to guess. And then I will tell Junkie Joe to say how many junk bucks I have. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, I'll get out the pumpkin stencil. Thank you for reminding me, Ro uh, Norella. I was looking if uh, Robin said something, too. <laughs> okay, it's time to do the raffle. <laughs> Do the raffle. All right, so let me make sure this time. Don't do as I do. I got it tight. I always do that. I always look, but for some reason I didn't look today. Didn't do it. All right, so let's trim this one. All right, so we're going to be giving away the dress form chipboard pieces at the raffle here in just a moment set this let me set this right here for now okay yeah I, Polly I saw where it came through so con thank you so much for your donation sorry I see it now sorry thank you so much Polly okay need to donate uh, to Robin too yeah <laughs> I'll have to give her some more junk bucks. Well, Sam, you got 41 junk bucks already. All right. Are y'all ready for the raffle? All righty. I think one, two... That's not long enough. This one might be. Don't forget to enter the raffle. You're rich. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Robin is awesome. I appreciate her. She takes good care of me. I take try to take good care of her. Even though she orders stuff with her money, I try to give her stuff for helping me out. I'm grateful. <laughs> she may not want me to say that, but she's awesome. <laughs> well, I'm glad you've gotten the hang of it, Mary Ann, because we're so glad to have you here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Donkey Joe's saying you can donate. All right. She's got to support my boss, she says. <laughs> I got to support you. <laughs> so y'all buy some stuff so I can pay Robin. <laughs> I can send her some uh, product. Sometimes I can send her some extra goodies. Alrighty. So we're ready for this raffle? Okay, looks like everybody's entered. Oh, we got Lisa. Re Lisa, do it again. You spelt it wrong. Oh. Alright, y'all ready? I'm waiting on Lisa. So she can go ahead. I see Deborah. Cleaning my hands. Yeah, support support Robin from buying by from Linda so that I can send stuff to Robin. <laughs> yeah, like, kind of hard to catch the the chat and watch the video. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I was trying to see. Did Lisa get in the raffle? She may not have heard me. All right, well, I'm going to do the drawing. Do y'all want me to do um, another set of those dress forms? Would y'all like more? 
You try to create? Oh, that's awesome. You can hardly keep up with the drawings. <laughs> I try to make them easy and I try to remind y'all to enter the raffle. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Julie. I'm sorry. Hey, Carol. So good to see you. Hey. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I'll do a second set then. Okay. 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 We're going to do the first raffle. Okay. So this is for some of the dress form chipboard pieces. I'm going to pick a winner and then I'll open it back up again and I'll pick another winner when Robin says poke, poke, nudge, nudge. <laughs> All right. So the winner of the first set is Sherry Deskins. Sherry, <laughs> congratulations. You won some of the dress forms and I've got, where is it? I've got another set. So that's going to be the next raffle. I always try to get the, the thing that I'm going to give away in front of me. So I know what I'm giving away. All right. So we're going to allow entries again and we've just started the raffle again. So go ahead and get entered. If you were already entered, you don't have to enter again. You can do it just for fun if you like, but if you've not entered at all, type in exclamation point raffle. Okay. You're very welcome. No, I'm not going to send it in your sub box. Sherry. Nope, not going to do it. <laughs> yes, I'll put it in your box. <laughs> I'll put it in your box. I, I do that with a lot of you. So if you win a prize, then I may be putting it in your subscription box if, when I ship out on the 15th. Um, if you have another order with me, I'll put it with that. And I don't ship out prizes very often because it takes me a little bit of time to put in the address and create the label and um, it's just a lot of work sometimes. So I try to do it in batches so that I can get it all done. <clears throat> oh, they got the FFA going. Let me free for all. Okay. Oh, y'all ready to know how many junk bucks I have? All right, I have, there you go. Kim has 500 and I have 30,785 on this account. I have another account and it has the same amount, about 3,000, 30,000 I mean. So whoever guessed closest to 30,000, who was it? Who guessed that? I saw it. Do you remember, Robin? I'm scrolling back up. All right, where did I see that? Nudge, nudge. See, so Christy said 32,645. 6, 32, I was trying to see who else I saw. Three hundred thousand. Sherry says. <laughs> Okay, I think the person's the person who was closest. Who did I say that was? Oh my gosh, the chat! I can't keep up. <laughs> Christy Clover, you you guessed thirty two sixty five. So I'm gonna give you a prize. So let me go currency and then go Clover and find you. All right, Christy, I'm going to give you 400 junk bucks, and that's going to put you at 4,000. So congratulations, you guessed the closest to how many I have. <laughs> oh, bye, Norella. Thanks for stopping by. Lots of love to you. So, okay, I got it. I got it. We're all good. Good. <sighs> One, two three. Oh, good job, Angelica. You won 80 junk bucks. Woo, woo. <laughs> oh, dear. Bye, Norella. It's okay. It's okay. Put this back in there. Put this back in there. We need $55.03 or I get to keep all the journals, y'all. Alright, making sure I don't have any hiccups. 
Go through the center and through. Yay, Angelica! Whoop, whoop! You won the FFA! Good job! Hello, Phyllis from Houston. How are you, lady? I, uh, I got, oh, thank you, Sherry, for your donation. I got a passion vine as a gift from a friend in Texas. And she brought it to me in a little cup thing, and I planted it in a pot right now because I wanted to be able to bring it in for the winter. And it's already grown, I want to say it's about probably, well, probably 20 some odd, 30 inches already. So I'm like, wow, this is cool. It's looking really good. I need to get another passion vine. <sighs> See you later, Turquoise Dreaming. Thank you for being here. Okay, so I've got all three journals here, okay? And then I've got all the goodies. So this is the goodies from the um, add-on kit. And I think what I'm going to do is I've got... Oh, almost lost the rubber stamp. I've got the, uh, the uh, subscription box goodies here. So I'm going to dump those out. Then I have some journal cards um, and other little things that I have made. So I'm just kind of getting all of this ready. And let's kind of start decorating these. So I'm just going to grab one journal and go for it. I've got some tags. Let's see what we've got. I've got a corner pocket. I like to kind of separate things a little bit so I can put an equal amount in the journals. So I'm going to consider that a tag. So we've got three of those there. Corners. We're going to decorate this journal. We've got a large journaling card, a large journaling card, a large journaling card. I didn't put any buttons on the card. So I think what I'm going to do is let y'all do that. Okay, so I think I've got all these little journal cards. Let's go there. These are all like little fussy cut pieces. Okay, so. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I have 16 journal cards that I can split up between these three journals. It's from, it's from the So Artsy subscription box and the larger journal kit, the exclusive kit. So that's where all of that's from. It's the two parts. Okay. Okay. Is it constant now? Ah, come on, YouTube. Play nice. All right. So let's kind of look at our journal here. And we've got a little area here. This is one of the chipboard pieces that I spray painted, or not, or not spray painted, I painted with acrylic ink. Uh, paint and then I sprayed it with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. So I'm trying to decide is that worthy on this side? Maybe I'll put it on that side. That may look a little better. And then I've got a little tuck spot. I think the sewing machine would look good here. So let's glue that down. All right. We got a boss fight going. Do y'all have any other questions? I just want to put that here. And I got another one there and this one there. I'm kind of looking at all the fussy cut things to see what I want to use. Hmm. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that'll work. All right. And if I did this right, I should be able to use four of these per journal. So one, two, three, four. So maybe that could go. Yeah, let's put that one there. So I'll do that. Okay, and then let's let's do a little something up here. I also have some fussy cut stamped images in here. I've got some other little tuck spots. I found that it just was so much easier to put things together and then just set them aside so I could put them in the journal wherever I needed. All right, I've got some pockets. Some more journal cards. Those can be belly bands that I made. I might use those as belly bands, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. What else we got here? I got a little embellish. I think I like this. Okay. Extra pieces. All righty. Let's see, what if we put a little thimble? Nope, that matches too much. Too matchy matchy. There we go, we'll put that on there. All right, what kind of story can I tell y'all about now? Other than it's been hot, hot, hot. That'll look good there. What do you think? I think that might be cute on that side. I could put, but I think I want to use the other scissors and just stamp it across the top. If you have too many things in front of you, <laughs> Oh, well, thank you. You know, part of it is I try not to overthink it, Sam. You know, I just kind of start grabbing things. And it can become overwhelming if you have too much on your desk and you're like, what do I do? Where do I go? Um, I kind of find sometimes if I can put it in little piles, like this is a tuck spot. This is going to be a tag that I want to use. This is a journal card. And... It kind of helps me visually see what I have and where I might use it in my journal. So I just put that little dress form on there. And then you're getting the ghosting in the background as well. Yeah, Robin just asked who has a YouTube channel so we can subscribe to you. So if you've got a YouTube channel, go ahead and say, I have one. Tell us what you do. I'm going to use this find your voice on the page there. I'm going to have to pick up my pace though if I'm going to get all three of these journals made. <laughs> oh no, no chatting away. Okay, Sherry, I just got those printed. Henry printed them for me, and I have three printed, and I am planning to make journal covers to add to the shop. If you just want that printed piece, yeah, I'll sell it to you. I'll sell it to you. Um, just message me, and I will um, get it sent over to you. All right, let's put measure twice, cut once. And this is one of the planner pages. I don't decorate a, another embellishment usually on the Calico Collage pages. I thought this one, it just happens to fit. So I think that would be kind of cute to put there. I'm going to make it a tuck spot just in case we get to the end and we needed to be able to tuck a little something in. 
So I'm just going to stick that right there. Okay. Yeah, I may end up keeping the five journals today, huh? <laughs> or I'll be working here until we get enough. <laughs> All right. So this is one of the pages that we did the Distress Ink on. And I think what I'm going to do is I've got... I know I just let that fall out. I didn't mean to. Let's use... Oh, we've got this little guy that we can put on there like that and I saw maybe we can put the little scissors let's put the scissors going down the side here I think that'll be cute I'm not making this a tech spot I'm just going to go ahead and glue it all the way down okay Everybody's too busy refreshing to donate. I understand. I understand. Okay, I think I'm going to put it this way. Yeah, I'll put it that way. There we go. Thank you, Christy. And I think I'm looking at the stamps here. Oh, yeah, let's do this one. I've got the little spool of thread. And I think that would look cute stamped right there. Yeah, so it kind of balances out the page. You get a variety there. Let's do... A little pocket kind of get the variety of that oh thank you Janice for your donation thank you thank you thank you oh we got a boss fight coming you do earn junk bucks when you play those games if you win it does cost you 10 junk bucks but it's fun all right we're gonna put this right here All right, looks like we've got a boss. FFA, there you go. <laughs> oh, good job. Y'all got 22 junk bucks. You more than doubled your money. All right, I think I like that. And, oh yeah, so these are, y'all Y'all are getting, this is a journal card that I made. I use a Calco Collage digital download. This is one of the um, uh, ladies. I think if you just type lady on Calico Collage, there's a sheet of nine images. And it was already printed. It was already cut out. I have this little basket. Where'd it go? Well, I have a little basket like this one that had the images in it. And I was like, okay, well, I'll, let's just use these. And then I used the chipboard. And then this is a strip off the fabric, off the bias, that's supposed to give you the dye color so that you can choose other coordinating fabrics. That's how you use that. And I saved them because I cut it off whenever I was making the journals. And I thought, well, that'll look kind of cute going down the side. Then I've got some of my thread that was you know given to me I stamped the words and then fussy cut out I stamped on top of a colored cardstock and then fussy cut that out so that's gonna be placed in this pocket and I think I'm gonna add this little flower on top of it okay yeah see you're earning your uh, junk buck Sam they're growing they're growing. 
Good night, Angelica. Good night. I'm surprised you came even for a little while. I know it's late for you. Hugs, hugs, and kisses. <laughs> Robin Fennessy, you won the FFA. You got 70 junk bucks. Awesome. So that's going to go in this pocket. So I'm just kind of making sure. Yeah, I like it. And I did leave this kind of a tuck spot that you could put another thing if you want on there. I think I'm going to leave that page for now. Well, I'm going to go on and kind of flip around for a moment. Okay, we got that. So that's going to need an oversized card. And that would be good in there. I like that because you can still see the other images. You rock for sure. <laughs> woo, woo. <laughs> Alrighty, I think... And then this is a little collage I made. I've got a tutorial coming, so I'm not going to go over it today, but it's a tuck spot that I'm going to put on the page. But I used one, two, three, four different rubber stamp images to make this little tuck spot. Yeah, you, you you accumulate bugs for time spent in the live. Exactly, Sam. I don't remember what the rate is, but you do earn for while you're here. Woohoo, Lisa, good job. Good job. Good night, Angelica. Okay, that'll be cute there. And then I have a couple little drawing cards. So let's see. Oh, wait, that's not the ones I want. I want these. And I think this one. So I think those will look cute in there. We need a little something up here. So let's... Oh, I know what we need to do. I haven't done that yet. I've got the word journal. So I'm going to get one of my blocks here. Oh, thank you, Christy, for your donation. Thank you, thank you. So I'm just going to put it on my little block. And let's stamp journal right there and then let's do the zigzag stitch so i'm going to go kind of across the page what do you think that finishes it up doesn't it i do too the scissor stamp is a lot of fun it is a lot of fun okay so what we did let's put something over here mm -hmm. maybe we can put that let's put it there I think that'll look good there. Cute, cute, cute. I've got maybe this one. And do we want another phrase? Live each day. That'd be kind of cute down there, wouldn't it? What do you think? Thank you, Diane. I I tried to pick a variety of stamps. I told Beverly what I was looking for, and I kind of gave her a little bit of a list. And then I said, and then, you know, of course, pick whatever ones that um, you love, Beverly. You know, what you know are good sellers that people enjoy using. So she gave me some interesting stamps that I would not have, I would have overlooked it, like the DeLong button. I would have overlooked that one. I wouldn't have used it had she not given it to me because it just didn't make sense. But now that I've stamped it out and fussy cut it, you know, and I've made little embellishments with it, I'm like, okay, that was a good fit. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I think I like that. So we kind of got a little design going there. Let's, I'm just kind of flipping around just a little bit, um, trying a few things. This is a, a ribbon holder, but I think it would look kind of neat down here at the bottom. Let me see where my fibers are. Uh, hmm. Where are you? Aha. I had to dig 
dig around for them. They were covered up. Let's put them right here. So let's see. Let's do a little bit of... If we do this, leave a little bit of a tail and wrap it a couple of times. And then I can tie it into a little knot. Okay, and then I'm just going to cut off the excess. And then we'll make this a little tuck spot down here at the bottom of the page. What did you hear? Oh, gotcha. I understand. Thank you so much, Sam. Uh, Y'all had a, a high-pitched noise? That's weird. I didn't have any sounds here, and I've got everything on mute. <laughs> How weird. I wonder if I got too close to the mic. I don't know. It's weird. 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 All right. So what do we want to put up here? Oh, yeah. I've got, uh, this is a, a measuring tape that I stamped on yellow. And I think I'm going to stamp the word journal here beside it. And I'll glue that down. And let's add, let's add a little thimble, maybe a little closer. I like it. I love it. I want more of it. Then let's put that guy there. Yep. Okay, I've got one of these corners here. See which one I like the most and where I want to put it. You like the dress, the soft effect? Isn't that kind of cool how it just kind of comes through just a little bit on there? Let's put maybe that on that page. So it kind of gives you. Oh, thank you, Sam, for your donation. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I think I'm going to put that one there. Or do I want this one? Because it really covers up that dragonfly, doesn't it? You can kind of see it still peeking out. So let's do this one. Okay. Thank you. Okay. What else we got? Tell me what you got, what you really, really got. No? Maybe? Okay. Ah, let's do this. Oh, that's funny. Because then you got the images on both sides. Okay. And then I did that side. So let's do something on this side. Maybe like that. <laughs> or do we want the purple one? Let's do the purple pair. I think the purple pair fits. Although that's upside down. So maybe I'll do it from the bottom up. From the bottom up. Thank you so much. Poke, poke, nudge, nudge. <laughs> All right, just a moment. I need to stamp the word journal here. Mm. 
and I think that's good on that page. What do we want to put in here? Maybe I have one of these kind of blends in. I think the teal kind of sticks out a little better. All right, well, let's do the raffle. Did y'all get into the raffle? Yeah, no, this is the same scissor stamp. I just stamped it in different color paper. This is the scissor stamp. That other image is from the kit. Where'd it go? I put it down. This is from the kit. I think I like that. Up there. And... Keep sewing. Maybe... That's a little big. This one will fit. Kind of like that. And maybe one of these. Well, I used to, I used to use a different thing. I got a thimble. Let's put the thimble down there. Okay. I think I got it. Yeah, the thimble's fun, isn't it? Thank you, Robin, for sharing. All right, so I'm going to put this one up here. So we've got a little thread over there, and we have a little thread over here. Oh, I did it backwards. Dang it. I hate it when I do that. All right, just wipe it off. Wipe it off. Okay. Okay. So, I want this side and this side. I flipped it over and so I wasn't paying attention. Dang it. <laughs> this is in the kit. This is in the shop as a rubber stamp image. Where did it go? It was laying here. Here it is. That's a rubber stamp in the shop. Okay, let's put that one down there. Oh, you have a little scissor stamp? Well, that'll be cute to use, Julie, for sure. Put that right here. Correct. I do not have the image in the kit as a stamp. It is just an image in the kit. Okay. I think that looks cute there. Maybe even, this is one of the twill tape, so I'm going to put it in the bottom. Put it on the bottom there. You have a long way to go for another $10. <laughs> uh. All right, I think, I not, oh, I see it didn't put that much glue on it. There we go. Now it might stay stuck down. All righty. I'll put one of these as a tuck spot. White, black, and colors. 
for a hand and machine it's about thread so it's got all the different kitty cats on there okay put this right here Mm. Oh, this will be cute because it's the thread spool. So we'll put that on there. Since we're doing thread and thread. And I think I'm going to put this little piece right here in the corner. Laksu. Like so. What now? Oh, and she just told you. Good job. <laughs> so we're 3803 needed in the raffle. I'll be raffling off five journals today. Three big journals and two mini journals today. Thank you, Cynthia, for your donation. Thank you so very much. Okay, so... How many of these do I have left? Oh, I still have quite a few. Oh, this is kind of neat. It's a little dress form, a different style of dress form. This is part of the kit. So we're going to glue her down. Like so. And I think we need some stitches on the page. adding a little touch all right so I haven't put anything in that pocket and I have a journal card there and we could put one there on this page so let's get I've got this little button maybe down here in the corner thank you Lori for your donation thank you so very much and this is kind of a little piece that's in the kit. So I think I'll put those there. Nudge, nudge, poke, poke. Is it time for the raffle? So if y'all haven't already joined the raffle, please do so now. I'm raffling off a little dress form chipboard pieces. Okay. They are basically the same. The boss games, um, more people win. In the FFA, only one person wins. Thank you, Kathy, for your donation. But they're both just basically equal chances, if you will. You just are going to have more winners in the boss fight. Okay. Got these oversized cards. Got flowers I can use in the other journals. I've got... I need... Oh, well, let's do the word journal. I was trying to think, what else do I need? There. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's put this guy there. Okay. Hey, Debbie. Thanks for coming by. Thank you so much. We're working on the So Artsy kit. I've got uh, the subscription box and... The exclusive add-on printed journal and the planner that I'm working on. All right, did y'all enter the raffle? You're welcome, Sam. All right, well, let's do the raffle and then let me pick the next prize. All right. Raffle! Enter the raffle!
All right. Giveaway. It's okay, Christy. All right. Let's pick the winner. Pick a winner for the chip chipboard dress pieces. Thank you, Sherry. Yeah, earlier you had said if that was from the Lace Duo. Yes, it was. The Lace Duo is great because you can fussy cut it out. All right. What did you say here? Oh, yeah. Um, and I think I answered your question, Sherry, about the uh, Midori journal yeah i have the fabric but i haven't made more of them yet do you want me to make one for you connie congratulations on winning the just little chipboard dress forms i'm sorry if you're getting beings you're probably getting beings because i don't know why this won't go away sorry um let me not do that anymore so let's go reset and yes and we're gonna go Bags. All right, so my next giveaway is a package of these damask paper bags that I sell in my shop. So I'm going to give some of those away now. Yeah, have fun with the dress form pieces. I hope you like them. You're very welcome, Connie. You're very welcome. All right, so I glued that there. Y'all enter the raffle. And I've got a pocket there. All right, so I'm just going to quickly go through this and see if I need to add something before I move on. I don't have anything there, but I kind of like the way that looks without putting stuff on it. There is a spot here that we can put a journal card. So I've got one of these that I made. I've got this journal card and that one. There's our center. That's the lace duo, the pattern, scissors, and then this is part of the court uh, cube, uh, sewing cube. I didn't put anything on that one. I just like the bright colors. We got something there. This is a tuck spot if we want to add something. Okay, so we don't have anything on this page. We got something there. We didn't put anything there yet. Okay, so let's put something on this page. Okay, I've got plenty of these, so... What if, oh, that looks kind of cool, doesn't it? To put that on there. And let's put the little button on top of it. Yeah, Grandma Slip Lace is what Christy calls that lace duo. Grandma Slip Lace. Okay. Okay, yeah, I've got the fabric. I've got the fabric, so I can do that. Just send me a message so I can figure out the price for just the fabric. And then I can make a product in my shop. I hadn't got a chance to make the covers. I've been busy, y'all. <laughs> I think that... There we go. Um, maybe we'll stamp up here the word journal. Thank you, Elsie. Hey, Elsie. Hey, Barbara. Thank you for your donation. I'm sorry if I didn't say something earlier. I apologize. I wasn't looking. You love the dress forms? Aren't they fun? The dress forms are a lot of fun. I've got another one I want to use. So let's see which one stands out. Oh, that might help it. So... No, but that'll, that'll stand out on there, that yellow dress form. I think that looks cute. So we're going to glue that one down. I did a couple of colors. I did um, pink, teal, and this golden yellow. And each one I painted with acrylic paint. 
and then I sprayed with one of the coordinating colors in the Tattered Angels paint set for So Artsy. And then I stamped over it with the Let's, uh, Let's Sew um, collage. Thank you, Jen, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Sherry. Yeah, hey, I'm so glad you're here. Hello, hello. So that's one of the dress form pieces. And let's just do this. So artsy at the top. I think that'll be cute. Okay. All right. That goes there. We didn't put anything on this page, so let's do, why don't we do that guy? I think that'll look pretty cute on there. I'm glad I made a few of these ahead of time so I didn't have to stop and make the embellishments. I do have a tutorial coming, so don't worry, it's coming. I think Robin just got through helping me write up one of the blog posts. Okay, so that's the first journal that's got the sewing machine on the cover. So let's grab the next journal. Ugh, stretch. We all need to stretch. We're going to stretch for a moment. Uh, yay, I'm glad your brother's doing great, Elsie. Oh, you think that'd be awesome on material? Yeah, I guess they would. I could do a little collage for a cover. Hmm. That's something I can, I can work on in my spare time. <laughs> <laughs> Vertical words. All right. So let's decorate this journal. I'm going to start in the center and see what I want to put as far as decoration. Like, would that look good on the page? Maybe. I don't know. Let's see what else we've got. I've got... Um, huh. Carolina. Little sewing machine, maybe, over there. So we're getting kind of that purple going together. Maybe I'll even grab some of um, Always Dream Big. And we can put that right there. And what else? Oh, I've got this guy although he's the same color I don't see another one that's what would fit better oh maybe this would fit better maybe I think I like that okay let's do let's go with it you're very welcome Oh, yeah, the, the artsy boxes will be shipped on the 15th. I'm waiting on my printed order. I got my Tattered Angels on Friday. I think that's right. I worked on it Saturday. And so I've got those all sorted. They're ready to go. I'm just waiting on the printed materials so that I can finish packaging everything up. Um... So that's what takes so much time is I have to package all the things for the kit. They don't come packaged. <laughs> I do all of that by myself. Occasionally, I have a very dear couple of friends that will come over and help me. And Beverly, the stamp lady, she came over Saturday and helped me for about four, maybe five hours. And I'm very thankful for her help because, you know, if I'm able to do another task while someone else is doing a task that I would also have to do, and in, you know, four hours time, we've technically done 10 hours worth of work. So, I appreciate the help. <laughs> All right. We need $19 to do the raffle of all three of the large journals and the two mini journals so you're seeing 
how I'm putting them together. You know, I try to think about what I'm doing and make it fun and interesting. I'm trying to show y'all, you know, the mixed media pages with scrapbook paper and stamped images and the images from the kit. They all can go together. Just grab stuff out of your stash. Oh no! Sorry you can't see it. Yeah, you'd come help me, Julie. I, I appreciate the help that I get. It's I'm, I have some amazing friends that are willing to come help me and I, I can't be, I can't show enough gratitude for everything. I really appreciate it. All right, I think that one might fit there. Yeah, let's do that. We'll put that one in there. Always dream big. Okay, that'll be a good place to start in this journal. Alrighty. See what else I've got laying here. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to put one of these in here. So we gotta make sure to leave a space for that. And I think it will go in one of the belly bands. So there we go. I could put that in there. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Sorting and organizes right down your alley. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just group feed, feed. Uh, what I did with her is I fed her a couple of times. I happened to have some food here for one of my helpers. Uh, another time we ordered food. So I get help and it's, it's like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Are you hungry? Do you want some tea? You want some coffee? <laughs> well, how can, how can I repay you, you know? <laughs> Let's put that one. I think I like that corset laces on there. Word stamps are fun. I think I'm going to stamp the word journal over on this side while that's drying. There we go. It's kind of got that grungy look to it. Come on, glue down. All right. You like that collage type spot? It's kind of fun, isn't it? All right, so that's going to go here. All right, so let's put something. Mm -hmm. Find your voice, maybe. Why not? All right, thank you, Vet Deborah. Come back. <laughs> Okay. Thank you so much, Christy. Okay. Put something there. Let's do some stamping. I'm going to stamp the spool up here. Let's stamp the word journal beside it. Mm. And let's put, I've got an extra one of these pattern pieces. Is that what I want to do? Nah. Oh, here we go. I can put the scissors. Let's do it. Nope, don't like it. I like that, and I don't want to put fibers on it because I don't want to cover it up, so I'm just going to glue it down. The tape measure paper, isn't that cool? The way she did that collage of all those uh, tape measures. Put that in the middle. Now, they're going to be individual. I'm going to do five raffles to give away the five different journals. So all you have to do is donate any dollar amount to enter in. Okay. Let's put a pocket. Mm 
maybe on that page. Yeah. The, yes, the tape measure page is the add-on kit. This page that you're seeing right here is the add-on kit. So if you want this look, then you'll want to pick up the printed kit and the exclusive printed kit, the planner kit, and the subscription box. And then you'll have all of the pages that are part of the kit because that's part of the large kit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A couple of journal cards there. And let's put, I like the scissors. I think the scissors looks good on there. Ooh, tape measure, washi tape. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I know, but they're just a little bitty company like me. So they don't, they don't, you know, ship everywhere, but I do. <laughs> Yeah, the tape measure page is the digital. It's also available in the digital. This is in the digital, and you can get that page as part of the digital download. Yep, yep. It's a little tape measure. Made with love, one stitch at a time. Let's do that one. One stitch at a time, and we'll put that down here. Yeah, I know shipping is expensive to Australia, the UK. It usually starts out about $24 for the boxes. I'm trying to get a cheaper solution, but right now the U.S. Postal Service seems to be the cheapest for my boxes. I tried to do UPS, but they were going to cost more. Oh, the tape measure twill tape. That'll be cool. Oh, we got the boss. Yeah, there's the digital junk journal add-on. Now, if you have a subscription box, then you and you didn't purchase the digital download at the time, you can go in and click on the digital add-on. If you do not have the subscription box, then the option is to buy the virtual subscription for $14.99. And I understand if you can't do the renewal in two months so to get the digital download download it and then you can go in and cancel your subscription okay so I understand if y'all can't do the monthly you know uh, by monthly the uh, reoccurring payments just go in get it and then turn it off or cancel the subscription okay I have this page when we do that up there now I'm going to do it at the bottom. It kind of covers up the boo-boo. <laughs> covers up the boo-boo. Okay. Oh, and we can put this one in the pocket. You have a big witch list, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't take much to get there, does it? Doesn't take much, I think. No, I'm trying to think what I want to put on here. This one's kind of pretty, just because it's pretty. Kind of colorful. And then this this page here that I've got is one of my digital downloads. If you're a YouTube donator, you'll be able to get this for free. So if you make a donation, you can get that page for free. This page is the page that comes in the subscription box.
you kind of need to log in, Debbie. Um, um, Robin, I don't know if you can find that blog post where I show the screenshots for the Streamlabs, and maybe that will help. And you have to have the direct Streamlabs link, so it shows my, my name, and then when you go through the payment, you just have to create an account. It's not a big, long, drawn-out thing. It's more of, here's my uh, user ID and password, uh, password again, and then you're done. Thank you, Robin. Right, you do not have to pay Streamlabs to do it. You just go. And if you donate, yes, you need to create an account on my shop. And then I can add you to the digital download, or yeah, the subscription group, um, YouTube donators group. I couldn't get my words out, y'all. And then you'll be able to get the digital downloads. Oh, I think I like that because of the starkness on that page. I'm going to put it on this page as well. And we're going to make it a tuck spot down here. Okay. How are we doing here? This one's going to go in the other journal. Okay, we got these two go in the other journal. I got this to go in the other journal. Do that. Okay. So let's find some journaling cards. Let's put that one in there. Okay. All right, I'm trying to make sure I have all the things. And then I think, what if we put a little thimble up there? Hey, Tanya. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, YouTube has settled down. I'm glad. Crazy thing. All right, make sure you enter the raffle. Okay, I think I'm going to put that one there. Let's stamp the word journal. I got it out and I haven't used it. Oh, I've got the scissors. Let's do the scissor stamp. Put that across the bottom here. So you get a little pattern there. And then... Let's use some shabby stitches to kind of segregate the page, separate the page. <laughs> Everybody's bugging you, aren't they? Um, I think I can do... All right, let's see if that worked. And maybe Streamlabs. Okay, there's the Streamlabs link, anybody that was looking for that. So that's one less thing Robin has to do. All right, we'll put that one there. Okay. Ooh, I think that'd be pretty on that page. It's just bright. But it's not right. So it needs to go on this one, doesn't it? So you can tuck from this side. Okay, so that's what we'll do. We'll put that on this side. I should have put that down. I forgot. I apologize. <laughs> I think we're getting pretty close on the donations. Robin, it's okay. If you can't find it, don't worry about it. <laughs> well, uh, I'll, try to, I'll try to pin it on my website or something or copy it again into my website. And someone asked, let's see what it says because I have to do math. So, 85, so I show we've received $85, and we're trying to reach 100, okay, math, 1904, okay, 
this. That kind of just blends in on the page. Oh, here's what we can do. I haven't used this corner piece. Now that's nice, bright, colorful, huh? So let's put that right here. Thank you, Amanda Dawn, for your donation. Thank you, thank you. And I've got a tag. Okay, so let's go. We've got this one there. So I'm going to put this right here. Okay. I'm trying to make sure that it's not going to stick to anything. Oh, this would look cute. There we go. And that goes there. Do, 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 do. I need another big journal card in my opinion. So I'm going to grab a piece of paper and we're going to put some distress ink on it as soon as I can find my blending tool. Well, barring that, you can always go direct to paper. And why not? Let's get the stencil out and grab a piece of paper. Avalanche! Okay, so I'm going to lay this on here. I'm going to grab the blending tool. And I think I like it wonky, so let's just do that. Kind of adding it right around the edges. I need to put my ink pad onto a little Velcro mat or something so it doesn't move around on me. Uh, one of my ink pads that I use is on a sticky back stuff so it doesn't move around. Well, I like that. What do you think? Just subtle design. Okay. What are we looking for? FFA! Thank you so much for your donation. Thank you, thank you. Did you like that? I think that would look good in there. So let's stick. What if we did that? And it kind of sticks out the top. And then you kind of have a little tab. So let's glue that on there. But before I do, I'm going to stamp this really fast. There. Then let's put this up on top. Okay. We're going to run late today, I think. Alright, so there's the back. Something there. Got something there. We have something here, but we didn't put a journal card in. Thank you, Elsie. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Let's put that right here. One stitch at a time. Or should we do, let's do this one. I like the little one. I'm leaving this other side open because this is a one month spread that you can write on. So maybe you would write, you know, your events or um, what you did in your journal. Okay, this one's gonna go here. This one's gonna go here. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Still some stuff underneath. I like this bright. Let's see here. Here we go. B U. I like that. Okay. Thank you so much for your donation. I greatly appreciate it. It's getting there, isn't it? Raffle. Enter the raffle. I'm giving away damask bags. And this will be the last free raffle because I'll start working on the second journal, the last journal, the third journal. And then we will do a giveaway, giving away five journals. <laughs> you love the humming? <laughs> uh, no, I, on Thursday, I will be making some mixed media pages to go with the autumn breeze. And then Monday, I will be making a journal using the autumn breeze journal kit from Calico Collage. Okay. Let's stamp journal and then stamp across and let's add I've got one of these I think that one looked good on there so let's add some of this pink fiber stuff again oh thank you Polly for your donation thank you thank you I'm just gonna tie this in a knot keep forgetting to close my stamp pad it dries out if I don't close it up that's why I think it's important that when you buy a stamp pad to get the re-inker if you're going to use it any at all you're going to want that re-inker all right I think I'm going to put that on the page there oh yeah it's a beautiful kit it's going to be fun I think you'll like the autumn breeze it's pretty and I made some new stencils to go with it. I got a maple leaf stencil and an oak leaf stencil. Christy, I saw one a couple minutes ago. Yes. Thank you for your donation. Okay. Making sure there's no stickiness. <clears throat> Alrighty, so let's put, I think that one would look good on there. Let's see if that's dry enough. Amen to re-inkers, for sure. Okay. Let's stamp this spool of threads. And then I've got the DeLong button. So let's put that up here, like so. And I like this, the measuring tape page, so I'm not going to put anything over it. Okay, so this is going to go there, and this is going to go over there. These are going to go right here. I'm trying to kind of sort what I have here, what needs to be added to the journal, and I'm leaving enough. I've got these little pieces I haven't used yet, so let's see if we can find little spots for those. Maybe like that. Woo, Giovanna, you in 90? <coughs> That's awesome! Good job! Oh. They love the, the journal stamps. They're kind of fun, aren't they? The, I've got the... Um, Oh, what am I trying to say? The, the quartet. 
Oh, I won 90 junk bucks? Oh, hilarious. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, dear. That's ridiculous. I see Polly sent a, a super chat. Thank you so much for your donation, Polly. That's hilarious. Oh yeah, you're in the in the um, subscription. Okay, yes. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay. Oh, I got some more of these little pieces. So let's do one there, maybe. Nope. Things are falling in my lap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think we'll put it like that. Let's see what we can find. Why not? We can have an art journey, can't we, in our sewing theme? Is there something I need to do for Polly? Oh, I understand, Chrissy. That's okay. I'm used to seeing, you know, all kinds of shorthand. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, let's put this right here. Yep, there you go. I gave some away and they came back to me. You got it. <laughs> Oh, hilarious. I know it's be kind of hard to do a uh, talk to text if you're watching a video by me, right? <laughs> All right, got a couple more little pieces here. That might look good there. Put it there. Okay. I think we need to stamp the word journal over here. And I've got this little circle pit that I'm going to put on this side. We're almost there. How close are we? We need $9.61 so I can raffle off the journals. So I won't start the journal raffle until that is done. Because I get to keep the journals. I have a goal to meet. <laughs> it costs, um, I had get, I'd written it all out when I did the punked out steam kit and this models the same thing so the subscription box is $24.99 the punked out steam printed kit same for the so artsy is $14.99 the planner kit was $9.99 the paint kit was $25.99 I had a cover then plus the uh, stencil club which I kind of have stencils involved so that came to $123 and so that's why I said $100 for today because I'm giving away five journals. So that's why it's that dollar amount because I was hoping to uh, be able to raffle it off. Okay, I think I'm going to put that on this side. And we need to stamp. Let's get the lace stamp out. And what do I want to, I'll stamp it in black. And we'll stamp it off the page a little bit. It's a little wonky, but I'll stamp it down there too. And then let's add some shabby stitches. Get out of the way. Glue. So that kind of sticks out. Yeah. Mm. 
just adding texture to the page. And then let's add this little guy. What am I confirming? Yes, you get a discount on other stencils. If you are a member of the Artistic Stencil Club, you get 20% off other stencils. The discounted price should show up when you're logged into my website. So we're at, we need, I think it was 961 is what we needed to finish the, um, the raffle. Yeah, if you if you order something to go with your um, subscription box and you need me to combine shipping, I do that automatically. Um, if I can combine the shipping and the price is lower than what you paid, then I will refund the difference. Okay. I think I'm going to do this same little technique I did a minute ago with the stencil, but this time, is that what I want to do? I'm going to do that. Okay, where did I do it? There it is. I'm using the dress form stencil. I like it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is use the brush and go around the edges. And I think next I'm going to use the shabby stitches and stamp around the edge. for your donation and then look at there okay you kind of see in the background here from the other side I don't know I thought it might be kind of pretty okay got this little button what else we have in here oh I got another pair of these scissors and I've got the DeLong button, but I've got this pink thimble. I think the pink thimble would look good up there. So I'll put that up there. Let's see. Jump jar needs $4.61. Oh, cool. So, yeah, a rubber band around a block would be a cool way to get uh, texture on your page. Polyesters. Wow, fun. Okay. So, I think I'm just about done here with this journal. So, let's flip through it still have some fussy cut items I can use on the other journal. Got a little extra glue. I try to make sure my pages are dry before I close them, but it happens. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you so much. Uh, Debbie, you can pay with Super Chats. All you do is just have a payment connected to your YouTube and then hit the dollar sign and put in your dollar amount. <clears throat> you like the dress form? They're kind of fun. I have a, I need to put another one. Let's see, I've got these two. Here we go. I need to put some in this journal. I haven't done that yet. Oh, I like that. That teal one on that page. 
You can't change your amount? That's crazy how it does that. Uh, maybe it's a safety feature so you don't accidentally do more. Let's put that right here. Okay. I like that. This one's going to go there. This one keeps falling out, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to put something else here because it's smaller. And then we'll find a different spot for this little envelope. Maybe I'll put it here. Might stick a little better. <laughs> I could put that dress form up there. I think that'll look good. Or should I put it down here? We'll put it on the bottom. Oh, I'm sorry you're having a headache. That's no fun to have a headache. Trust me, I know. I suffered from migraines for years and years. Oh, thank you, Barbara. For years and years and years. Thank you, Barbara, for your donation. I started using the CBD oils, and that has helped me tremendously. I think I need some shabby stitches up here. Okay. Dry. Dry, I ask. We've met the goal? Yay! I don't get to keep the journals. Bummer. <laughs> oh, dear. A little button. I'll put it down here in the corner. Like so. Yay, thank you so much for your donations. I greatly appreciate it. All right, so we're going to raffle off the last free item. And I'm going to start the raffle for the journals. Okay, since I've got one more to make. Yeah. Put that right there. Get the last one out. And we've got all these goodies here to use. So get them a little bit where I can see them. And we'll start putting it together. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Robin is the boss. That's right. <laughs> it was close, but y'all did it. <laughs> oh. That's when I make them. Um... Oh, thank you, Barbara. That's so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah, I'm so glad you're here. Well, thank you, Elizabeth. You know, part of it is just, if you lay out things, just go for it. And there's no reason to rush like I'm doing because I'm doing, you know, this live. So that's why I'm going a little bit faster than some people would. But you can do it in your own pace. Oh, that's too pink. I think the yellow one would look good on there. So, you know, don't feel like you have to rush. Just do it at your own pace and enjoy the whole process. I think that would look good. I, I did this on the other one, and I think I'm going to do it again here. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm throwing my rubber stamp in the floor. Are y'all ready for my... Uh, the chances are better than the lottery, for sure. <laughs> Aw, thank you so much. Yeah, you just kind of have to sit down and, and pre-make those things. It makes it so much easier. Thank you, Maria, for being here. Yay, Marie, yay. All right, so we're going to do the raffle so since you're here Marie type raffle type raffle oh we gotta and it's okay if you're a slow poke you just take your time and enjoy the process you don't have to be super fast 
All right, enter the raffle. And then we're gonna start the raffle of this journal. I'm gonna go ahead and glue a couple of things down. And remember those that donated, make sure that you create a user account on my website and message me what your YouTube username is and your email address on my website so I can get you added to the YouTube um, donator group in my shop so you get a discount and you get the free digital downloads. Oh, I'd love to do that. I love getting together with friends. It's a lot of fun. Okay, I'm just putting a little glue on the edge here. Glue this down. And I think I saw so much fabric, so little time. <clears throat> what else do we have here? I have the, well that's already over here, so let's pick something else. What else we got? What do we got? Maybe this purple. Oh, I got an idea. Maybe I can do this. Just little embellishments. Okay, y'all ready? Last call on the raffle for the last free raffle. All right, so when I start the next raffle, this is for those who have made a donation today. If you've made a donation, when I say enter the raffle here in a few minutes, then you can enter. If you didn't donate but want a chance to win one of the five journals, just make a donation of any dollar amount. And then when uh, you do so, enter the raffle by typing exclamation point raffle. All right, so I want this to dry really well. And then I've got, I think that might, nope, it's too big. But this one might fit. Okay. All right. Raffle. Okay, it looks like everybody got in. So we're going to pick the last winner here of the free giveaway items and this person is going to get the damask little paper bags and that winner is Barbara Favre. Congratulations Barbara. Barbara you won the damask bags. Thank you so much for being here and I've got your address so that'll go in your package because I'm pretty sure you have one order in my shop right now <laughs> for the subscription box stuff. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we're going to reset this. And this is going to say, so e, let's see, so artsy at journal give away. All right, so only those who have donated can enter this last raffle. Barbara Oliver, Deborah Vick, Lori Merchant, Sherry Deskins, Polly, LCN Bean, Christy, Amanda Dawn, Jen B, Elsie Bean again, Barbara Farb, Kathy Lake, Lori Merchant again, thank you for your donation, Cynthia Dusset, uh, Sam Spade, Christy Clover, Janice Bremer, Christy again, thank you for your donation, Sherry Deskins, Polly again, thank you, Christy again, thank you, Diane Ditzenberger, thank you, Lisa J, Christy again, thank you, Janice Bramer again, Barb Digwell, Sam Spade again, thank you, Deborah Vick, thank you, Lisa Jake again, thank you, Jen B again, thank you, Sherry Deskins again, thank you, Robin, she donated $10, thank you so very much, Robin, uh, Carrie Ann Little Gypsy, Kim Greenleaf and Mary Jones. So if you have donated and I read your name off today, I have proof that you've donated so you can enter the raffle, okay? So 
If you would like a chance to win one of the five journals, then all you need to do is make a donation, any dollar amount. All right, so I'm gonna put this in here. That's gonna go there and there, so that looks pretty good. I'm not gonna put it in there yet, because I don't want um, it to stick to anything. Oh yeah, we've got, where is that? We've got some belly bands. Oh yeah, that'll look good there. I like it. Okay. I'm gonna put this little guy here. Yay! Well, good luck, everybody. And again, thank you. I appreciate your support. You know, even if you aren't unable to donate or purchase items, you being here is a great help to me. Please, if you could also give this video a thumbs up. If after the video you could leave a comment, that helps as well. And then share the video. You can take that link and share it on whatever social media platform. Uh, send it as a text message to your best friend. However you want to do that. So please share it because that's how I get found. And hopefully more people are inspired by what I create. That's my goal is to inspire people. Alrighty. So, I'm going to flip around here. Got a pocket there. Alright, so I'm going to go here and put a pocket on this page. It does not matter if it's caps or lowercase. It can be both. It just has to be the exclamation point and the word raffle all together as one word. But it doesn't matter if it's uppercase, lowercase, all mixed up. As long as it's in the correct order <laughs> to spell raffle. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It can be both. Ah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm just holding this down to glue it in place. And let's see what I've got here. I've got these little flowers. I got this pair of scissors. We have a corner tuck spot. Oh, I've got this pink pair of scissors. It kind of blends in with the other, but I kind of like that, that it's just subtle, that you don't really see it. Oh, I'm glad. I'm so glad to see that, Lori. I'm glad. You know, it's just have fun. Don't stress. Remember, there's no rules. Do what you love. And I think this is funny because I stamped the scissors there. And now I'm going to put the stamped image over here. So we've got... Dry! I like it. All right, so let's make another journal card because I've got this belly band here. So I'm going to grab another. I'm trying to grab a hold of just one. They don't want to come out. And let's do the same. Um, let's stencil. We'll do this one again. All right. And know that anybody that you enjoy on YouTube, give them a thumbs up. It really does matter, you know, that they're getting those views. Leave a comment that's more than two words because that makes a difference as well. Because that shows the interaction happening. Same on Facebook. The more that you leave in the comment section, the better it is if you're talking to someone on the Facebook page because then it shows that conversations are going on. And if you even want to help even more, comment on someone else's comment on a Facebook thread. I know that may sound weird, but it shows engagement in the online community. Yes, I fussy cut those scissors. I fussy cut those out. I did, I did, I did. 
Is he playing Battleship or Bingo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it, again, and Robin's pointing this out too. If you if you like somebody on YouTube, yeah, uh, commercials are annoying, but it helps the person on YouTube when you watch their videos. You can mute it, you know, look the other way if you will. All right. Oh, thank you, Debbie, for your donation. Make sure you enter the raffle. Make sure you enter the raffle. Well, that looks kind of cool, I think, with the two different types. And I don't know why I put it over there when I meant to do it over here. Okay. And then let's put one of these in here. There we go. Okay. Ooh, the dress form would look good on that page. Yeah, that's where it's going. Did I miss somebody? Thank you, Debbie, for your donation. Make sure you enter. Yeah, this, this stencil comes in the subscription box. Make sure if you've made a donation to enter the raffle. Okay, I like that. What else I've got here? <clears throat> I like that one. Oh, let's do this one. And then let's see what kind of little word I have. No regrets. Love, oh, let's do this one. Love yourself. Let's do that. I think that'll look good. Stick down. You like the paper, Barbara? <laughs> the one I'm stamping all over? Because <laughs> I, I stamped each one of the dress forms all over that page, so there's little voids. <laughs> and then the back's just got crazy stamping on it. <sighs> I make a pile of them. <laughs> all right. Yeah, for the sewing kit, this this uh, stencil is in the sewing kit. This one right here. I like that. You like that? Okay. So let's see what we got going on. We did something on that side. We're getting there. All right, I think I'm going to stamp the uh, scissors on here. It went off the page a little bit, but that's okay. It happens. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put this pocket on this side. Oh, how fun. You like it crooked like that? <laughs> That's okay. Thank you, Janice. Thank you. I was trying to decide what stencil would be the best for this kit. And I thought, well, that, to me, kind of reminds me of a calico print, you know. It also reminds me of the top of a spool of thread or a bobbin. So that's why I was like, okay, I've got to use this. Okay, I think. All right, that'll fit in there so long as it doesn't get glued shut. So I'm going to lay that there. We haven't used the spool of thread stamp this time, so let's use that. And I've got... Let's see what we have that would look cute. Do, 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 do. Oh, here we go. I've got these two little circles... So let's put those on the page up here at the top. Yay for Wonky! <laughs> wonky is fun. Put that there. 
They call it wonky typing. Bye, Terry. Thanks for stopping in. I understand. It happens. Okay. Like that. We got that there. This is going to go there. <clears throat> well, let's do this colorful piece again. I think that would be pretty on that page. And then we can have a journal card or two in it. We can do... Let's do these on this page. I think that would look good. So that'll go there. And... else we got here I've got this button image I've got a heart shaped one let's use it I'm gonna put the little heart shaped button up here at the top all right oh Christy I'm, welcome I'm so sorry you haven't had a lot of time to craft thanks for stopping in I hope you are well Heal well, Sam Spade. All right, so that's going to go there. Oh, let's see what we've got here. Always dream big. Let's put that on the page. Now, Monday I'll be using the Autumn Breeze digital download from Calico Collage. So if y'all want to get it, print it. I'm going to make a journal with that on Monday. Okay. Oh, gotcha. I thought you had said you were buying a house. It's okay, Christy. We understand. All right. And let's see what else we've got here. Oh, I've got some of these little. Maybe put that one there. It's bright and colorful. Bright and colorful. Right. May end up putting this guy with that. Okay, we decorated that one earlier got this one. Let's go here. I think the sewing machine in front looks good. You're ready for autumn? I'm ready for cooler weather. That's what I'm ready for. We, ha we can't go sit out on our patio because it's still 100 degrees at 1030 at night. I did sit out there, believe it or not, I was up till 2 a.m. Was it Saturday night into Sunday morning or Friday night? I don't remember what night it was, <laughs> but we were just sitting outside. It was finally cool enough that we could enjoy sitting outside, and we did for several hours. I think that would look good on there. What else we got here? Let's put the word journal up here. And let's do the shabby stitches. I think I need to re-ink my ink pad because I keep leaving the lid open. Put a little ink on there. I have not used the illusions. I don't have any. Yeah, Christy and Barb, we have a bunch of those. Oh, the name of the kit is called So Artsy. And then I will have a digital download of these pages probably tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. 
I think I've given it a name. Pastel Mixed Media Pages. I think is what I called it. Did I get that right? Did I answer your question? Wow, Elsie, six signatures. That's crazy. Yeah, the hundreds are no fun. I don't like the hundred degree weather at all. It is not my friend. Not something I enjoy. Okay, this is the measuring tape. I think that would look cute. And I've got a thimble stamp. All right, so let's stamp the uh, word journal up here. And then let's glue down the measuring tape like so. And then let's put the thimble beside it right here, kind of on top and beside. Okay. And then I think I'm going to put this little guy here in the corner. All right. What can I create? Sorry, I missed it. <laughs> Robin will have to remind. Lori just got her coupon. Congratulations, Lori. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Get darker there, Barb. You're further north, aren't you? Aren't you in Canada? I think we'll put that right there. Kind of cool. All right. I've got this guy. And what else? Maybe... Pink little thimble. Nope, that's too pink. Oh, here's a blue one. Oh, but then we got this guy too. Maybe I'll do that, the needle book. Ah, you earned his life but hadn't gone shopping yet? Gotcha, Lori. degrees year round 7 I can go up to 80 80 is you know where I would be okay with but this 100 and something degrees is crazy okay so this is gonna go here all right so are we ready to do let's do the first raffle I'm gonna show you the journal so far I'll show you the other journals and then we'll do the first raffle, okay? So, what we're going to do is the very first raffle is going to be for the mini journals, okay? So, I'm going to call for a winner here in just a moment. I'm going to give, a, let's give a two minutes, okay? So, in two minutes, we're going to call for the first winner. And they're going to pick one of these two minis. So what you'll say is, I want the one with the sewing machine or I want the one with flowers. And then I will draw, we'll wait about two minutes and I'll draw for the next drawing and you'll get the whatever's left over of the mini journals, okay? Then I will say for the third raffle, you get one of these journals, the one with the sewing machine, the one with the flowers, or the uh, quilted uh, cover, okay? And so you tell me which one you want and then we'll just keep doing that until all the journals have a home. So this is the one with the um, quilted covers, what I'm gonna call that, you know, that's a Franken page. So this was what the inside looked like. I'll just do it really fast so you can kind of see. I'm not going to show you every single page because we've kind of gone over it. There's the center. I like the way that's come together. 
little pockets, tuck spots. There's still room for you to add your own embellishments as well. I try not to cover up every inch of it, so to speak. Now you can add some stuff there. And of course, journaling in the journal. So that is the one that is the quilted. Set that out of the way. Here's the one with the sewing machine on it. And I'm gonna flip this and give me a drink. I don't know if she has anything fair related either. I'll have to ask her. Fair, circus, I don't know. I like how these have come together, y'all. I get to take these to dinner tomorrow night and share them with my family. I think this one needs another journal card. Like that. I like it. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Let me do one. No. Let's do this one. Okay. All right. I'm not much for snow. I don't like snow. No, I don't like to be that cold. <laughs> I'm a fair weather kind of gal. And then this is the flowers one. And I've got to make sure to sign all of them before I send them out. So I'm liking how it's coming together. All right. If I have a choice, I'd rather be hot or cold than hot because I know I can warm up with more blankets or that kind of stuff. But getting, when you're hot, it's like, oh, it takes so much to cool off. It's hard. I don't like it. Don't like it at all. All right, I'm just adding some stamping. Maybe I'll add this little doodad here. Put a little flower there. So that's why, you know, if you're making several journals out of the kits, you might want to take the time to separate the pieces so that you evenly use them in each journal. Yeah, me too. I want too much as well. <laughs> yeah, she is dark, busy. Busy, busy, busy. She, her kids are all going back to school. I think I like that. Since we got it on both sides there. Why not? Oh, and I have a journal card with it on there. <laughs> so I've got that too. I think I'm going to stamp journal over here so that'll go like there cute 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 let's do no maybe this one just a little embellishment So I'll glue that on here, and then we'll glue this on. Thank you, but Elsie. Yeah, this is for who donated. So if you want a chance to win this journal, just make a donation. I'm getting ready to draw for the first one. The mini. Oh, it's, it's cockeyed, but that's okay. <clears throat> there are five journals being raffled off. Thank you so much. Okay, are we ready for the first one? 
because it's not going to take me much longer to finish so all right we're going to do the first rifle it's been longer than i said i know it's what happens <laughs> all right so this is for the mini journals the first person that i call tell me which one you want and robin will record that for me and then i will give about a minute two minutes and i'll do the next mini raffle i'll open it back up so thank you so much candia thank you thank you thank you thank you all right sherry got in the raffle polly's in the raffle let me get a drink of water it's almost seven o'clock here <laughs> All right, giveaway. Pick a winner. The first winner, you're getting the mini journal of your choice, Deborah Vick. Which one do you want, Deborah? Let me know. I'll give you just a moment. So in two minutes, I'm going to do the next raffle. Two minutes to the next raffle. All right, Deborah, tell me which one you want. I'm going to set this aside, and then we will do the next one. So I'm going to allow entries. So, you can still enter the raffle if you're already in. That's great. The blue one? Okay, good. You want the one with the sewing machine. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you. All right, we got one minute. And we will raffle the other mini journal. I think I'll put that there. Maybe that across the top. Congratulations! I'll put it in your order. <laughs> It'll go in your order. Okay. Congratulations. All right. So if you donated, enter the raffle. And you have a chance to enter the raffle by donating any dollar amount. Okay, put that there. I think I'm going to have to stamp and fussy cut some more images. I need to make one more journal. And I want some more of these fussy cut images to use. Okay, I think I got this guy. And made with love. Let's put that down here and that up there. I think I saw I did. I've got one of these little things so we can put it down here on the bottom. Okay. You can retype raffle. It doesn't hurt anything. It does not hurt. Put this here. And I'm going to stack these. Oh, looks like a whole bunch of y'all got 15 junk bucks. You got uh, Nancy and Christy and Mary and Amanda and Diane and Bonnie and Carrie Ann and Christy Clover and Candia. You all won 15 junk bucks. You don't see the message because it truncated because it was so long. But you won junk bucks. So you gained five junk bucks just for playing the game. Made with love. All right, so I think we're ready for the next raffle. I think we're ready. It's been about two minutes, right? All right. Robin, you still here? I'm making sure you're still here. Did you get entered in the raffle? You need six feet of snow, Christy. That it would melt. <laughs> it would melt right now. <laughs> All right. So this person is winning the other little mini journal. Yeah, it's going to be like Christmas when you get back. That's for sure, Deborah. When you open your package. <laughs> All right. This person is winning this mini. Hey, Robin. You won the mini. Congratulations, Robin. You won the other mini. <laughs> Yay. I'm so glad. All right. So we're going to allow entries again. Yes. Isn't that crazy, Robin? <laughs> That's awesome. 
Okay, so the entries are open again, so you can enter again. All right. Robin, everybody, go ahead and enter the raffle again. Okay. Yay, you! That's awesome. Okay. So where are we? I've got two minutes. Two minutes. i got to work fast. So here it is. You got two minutes to get in to win the large journals. Okay. And then I'll raffle them all three off. I'll do one, I'll wait a minute, and then I'll do the next one, and then the next one. So I won't I won't him haul around if you will. Because it's getting close to seven o'clock. That means we can now uh, turn on things. We're on smart hours at my house. So basically the only room that has lights is my room. I've turned off all the lights in the other <laughs> rooms. <laughs> so when Henry comes in, it'll be dark. <laughs> think I've got this little pocket piece that'll go there let's put that little flower up there yay all right so when I sh do the next raffle that person needs to tell me which journal that you want and I'll show the covers of them again okay liking it Okay, so I've got another one of these little pieces. So I'm just going to wrap it a few times and then tie it. Tie it off. Hugs, Carrie! Hugs to Robin as well. I am blessed to have her in my life. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Robin, for all you do for me. All right, so we're going to glue this down to be a tuck spot down here on the bottom. And the glue is oozing out. No, don't do that. I put too much glue on it. I'm just going to wipe it away. It happens. <laughs> okay. And I know I'm going to want a journal card in there. Yay! You're welcome, Robin. Yeah, it is kind of nice. Bacon and egg rolls is coming. Ooh, yummy. Got too much glue. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah, I'd love to see that. Okay, enter the raffle. Are y'all ready? And that's going to go there. I don't want to close that page yet. Um, <laughs> here, let me put a piece of paper there to kind of help buffer so the page doesn't stick. I think I like that. And maybe, oh, let's stamp the scissors. We haven't stamped the scissors in a while. Okay. Because we got the scissors over there, so we'll put the scissors on this side too. I'm going to come down just a little bit. And then I'm going to stamp the word journal above it. And then we'll glue this down here on the bottom. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do the next raffle winner. And I'm going to show you the covers of the journal. So let me stick this piece of paper down. And we've got the sewing machine, the quilted cover, and then we have the one with the flowers. So tell me when I call your name, which journal do you want? Oh, okay. Cross your finger. Don't cramp your fingers, right? All right, here we go. Pick a winner. This is the first journal. Tell me which one you want. Kathy Lake. Kathy, tell us which journal that you want. 
And then I will pick the next winner. So I'm going to allow entries. Kathy, tell us which one you want. Robin, uh, retype it out there once she answers it in case I don't see it. That's going to go in there. Okay. Across there. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's do that. Quilt, please. Okay, perfect. So, Kathy wanted the one that's the quilt pattern on the front. So, this is Kathy's journal, which reminds me I need to sign. So, let me do that. Close the lid. Okay, congratulations. All right, so now let's do the next winner. So if you entered the raffle, perfect, perfect. I see people entering again. We're going to do the next journal in just a moment. Let me glue this piece down so it can be drying. Okay. Got a little carried away with the glue again <clears> okay <throat> hey, you're very welcome congratulations yay <laughs> all right re-enter for the raffle if you don't that's okay you're entered it's just if you want to re-enter all right i think i need to that one's just about dry. I think I want to make another journal card. So I'm just going to flip through here. And I need to make a journal card for there. So I need to make two journal cards. So I'm just going to do that. I've got some of these little fussy cut items here. So let me grab a couple of cards. And I'm going to do the spray it through the stencil and let's do um let's do the purple color is so rockin and artsy sherry cherry make a wish all right y'all ready and mop it up because, you know, you're constantly making journal pages this way. <laughs> I love the way the mop-up pages look. <clears throat> Alright, so we got a couple of journal cards now. I'm going to go ahead and put this over here. Alright, so now I'm going to pick the next journal winner. So tell me which journal that you want. Do you want the one that with the flowers or the one with the sewing machine, okay? So I'm gonna do the next giveaway. And that winner is Deborah Vick again. Deborah, tell us which one that you want. And congratulations. Woo woo. And then we're gonna open this up again. So whatever journal that Deborah didn't pick, you get a chance to win the other journal. All right, so I'm going to use my Distress Ink here. Double whammy! That's awesome. All right, so there's going to be one. Let us know which one you want, Deborah, since you want a large journal now. Congratulations! I think I'm going to put this guy on there. Alright, did she leave us? The sewing machine. Alright, so Deborah is getting the sewing machine journal, so it's going to her. So the last raffle is for the journal that's on my desk right now. And I think I'm going to do that. But at first, I'm going to stamp it. St 
stamp it. Congratulations. All right, this one I already glued down, but I can go around the edges anyway. There we go. Okay. Yay! She got the mini and the large. That's awesome. Yay! Okay. I think that'll look good in that pocket. If I get rid of some of the excess glue. <clears throat> Drum roll commences. Elsie says, I want the flower journal. Yeah, it is it is rare for two people you know, the same person to win more than one raffle. Okay. Alright, so this is going to go back here, wherever I had that spot that I had saved. Okay, here we go. That was going to go there. Alrighty. I'm going to flip back through it. We're going to pick the last winner. This goes in here. This is the, the word find. Fits right in there. And then I made this little journal card, and this is one of the kits. I try, I try. <laughs> ah. Good luck, Elsie. I love the dress form chipboards. Those are now in my shop. The dress form uh, stencil is also in my shop. Okay, I think I got all the pages. I love the way this came out. Mm 